Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatum Tamia. I'm the host of the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast and the CEO of Anchor Media and Anchor Media Studios. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post another video. So we're doing updates. And in the last one, I told you guys about what's going on spiritually and uh, personally. And let's talk about business for a second. I'm really excited about what's happening with Anchor Media. For those of you guys who don't know, I own a company called Anchor Media, where we are a digital media agency that specializes in podcasts. And we have launched and grown over 150 shows. I mean, our clients oftentimes top, uh, top the charts in their respective categories when they launch, are monetized within the first season. I mean, across the board, we rarely see less than a 50% increase in listenership within the first month of working with us. And over the last few years, I mean, I stand 10 toes down that we are the best company for uh, podcasts who are looking to launch, grow, and scale their platforms, Christian podcasters in particular, because that's what I'm called to. I mean, this, this industry as of late has been frustrating in a sense where it's just a lot of garbage out here. Like these men are from Mars, women are from Venus conversations and all of these gossip shows where the whole show is about telling people's business. And it's just a lot of foolishness out there. But again, I'm staying 10 toes down on who I'm called to because there are also a lot of people who God has called to this industry. There are a lot of pure hearted people who have something meaningful to say, something of value to communicate via podcasting. And that's who I do it for. And I'm excited because over the years, I again work with so many shows. And as of the last couple of years, our main service has been our done for you service where we do all the things, right? We do the recording, the editing, the marketing, the managing of the show, everything. All our clients have to do is show up and talk. All the logistics that go beyond the podcast, we do it. And then we also uh, strategize to make sure that they're reaching the goals that they have with podcasting. And we've seen countless, countless uh, success stories with that. And as of late, though, since we last talked, God gave me the instruction to stop taking clients. That was a, a, a yes, of course, that I gave, but a hard one because I, I could see why God was telling me to do that because it was in alignment with the season that I'm in. But it was a little scary because I'm like, God, this is our main offering. Like, this is the offering that brings in the most money. If I look at our uh, annual statements, this is the one. So to cut down the thing that is contributing the most financially is scary. But nevertheless, and again, God is the CEO, right? Nevertheless, not my will, let your will be done. And we just going to see how it's going to play out. And that's a, a space that I have gotten to over the years in business. And for those of you guys who are doing business God's way that I want you to get to, because I feel like when God gives us these scary instructions and these uh, just these assignments, it can, it can feel like so much. It could feel so heavy and it triggers a lot of anxiety where you start thinking about what if, how, how is that going to happen? With the podcast, we're actually reading Joyce Meyer, Battlefield of the Mind. And the last chapter we talked about talks about a wandering or a wondering mind. So we start wondering, how is this going to happen? How are my bills going to get paid? How is my family going to eat if I shut down or stop or pull back or adjust? Then how? If I do what God says, then what? That's where our mind just goes. But the then what is just simply not our job. <laughs> it's just not. And I feel like there needs to be a perspective shift. And, uh, and over the years, this is where I've gotten to because I've seen God come through way too many times to think differently. But I'm in a space where I'm like, all right, well, we're just going to see how you do this. <laughs> this is going to be another another point to the board, God. That's fine. You undefeated. There's another point to the board. So we're going to see. There's going to be something else I get on this platform and talk about because we're going to see how you work. And so God gave me that instruction again. Of course, my mind goes to the if then and it starts wondering, but I'm disciplined enough in my flesh where I'm going to obey God no matter what. And I want the same for you as well. So God says to stop. OK, we stop <laughs> again. I, I'm saying this casually, but I do want you to understand that my humanity was like, 
got you uh huh what excuse me <laughs> you sure can you confirm it all right like the nah. <laughs> i need no confirmation i know what he said so <laughs> i obeyed and this was like at least six months ago it's been a minute that we've been on a wait list and as of late he showed me what the, the new season in his new era for Anchor Media, and I'm excited, y'all. My spirit is excited because I know that there are so many people that are going to be blessed. I am looking forward to this new era, but even from a business perspective, it just makes a lot of sense, too. <laughs> so for me, when, when the assignment can also appeal to my logic, I'm like, yes, okay, God, let's go, right? But um, I'm really excited about this new era for Anchor Media. So here's what, what we got going on. This is a season where God is calling a lot of Christians to the forefront. This is a season where he's sick and tired of those who are manipulating his sheep. He's sick and tired of those who are manipulating people and using the word, manipulating the word, using people's vulnerabilities in these spiritual spaces to elevate themselves, to push their own agenda, to make money, to get money, because we know a lot of, especially in America, man, it's, capitalism is king in America. So, so many people are manipulating God's people. So many platforms, even ones that claim that they are Christian, are advancing the enemy's agenda. And there are many of you who God has called for such a time as this, where he's given you something and placed something on your heart and wants you to get it out in the form of a podcast. But because of how tainted this industry has become with all of this nonsense, you're overwhelmed and don't know where your place is where you feel like this message isn't catchy enough for it to be successful. What God has me to do isn't sexy enough for people to buy into it. It isn't good enough for it to go viral. It isn't controversial enough for it to be great, for it to grow and all of that. Like there's so many lies that the enemy has planted in your head to keep you muzzled, to keep you quiet. But God has called you for such a time as this. And I believe that God has assigned me for such a time as this and Anchor Media to really mentor and guide and pour into people that he's calling. So of course, I'm going to continue to have my show, but I'm stepping I'm, I'm, and I'm going to continue to maintain that strategist perspective because again we're good at what we do right i could build a successful podcast in my sleep however the assignment right now is to mentor to guide and to usher in a new generation of people that god is calling to this space and so with anchor media we have this program that we're launching it's called the purpose to podcast program and these are this is for people who, again, you know that God has called you to this platform, but you may be intimidated about how do I stay true to God's message in a way in which this is successful? You know, you may be in a space where you even information is just so much. It's like it's information overload. I know when I first started Anchor Media, there wasn't a lot of information on how to start a successful podcast. And so we provided that information for people. But right now there's a ton of information out there. But what does that mean for me? How does it apply to what God has me doing? And then even as a Christian podcaster, there's so much that we go through behind the scenes. Before you even get to the microphone, you're dealing with the imposter syndrome. You're dealing with not feeling qualified. I know when God told me to switch my show from what it was to blessed and bossed up, I was so afraid. I would literally record, upload, close my computer and leave because I didn't want to see the numbers. I didn't want to see the messages. Like I was that afraid of the assignment and I didn't have anybody but the Lord to guide me through that. And out of all the people that I've worked with, I've seen it time and time again, where the enemy tries to psych us out before we even get to the mic. We're worried about the wrong thing. We're about strategy and monetizing and marketing and cool, cool, cool. We got you with that as well. However, the enemy don't want you to open up your mouth in the first place. So if he could kill it before it even gets started, then that's what he's going to do. Or if he could use 
the result or if you could use the analytics or the numbers not looking the way that you want to or some type of disappointment about what you've done because some of you have gotten to the point where you launched the show but because it's not doing what you think that it should be doing you don't see it as valuable or you're getting discouraged and you're doubting is this god was this me and the enemy is using that to cause you to agitate you out of alignment and that's a podcast episode that's coming out soon. He's using that to agitate you and that to agitate you so that you would abort the mission. And so the heart behind what we're doing with this new program is a combination of mentorship, guidance, and essentially spiritual development so that you can get anchored in what you need to be anchored in so that you can build God's platform. And again, you're going to get the tools and the information to grow with and monetize and all that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that in our sleep. But what we need to do is build up the person behind the microphone. And what I personally want to do is hold the hands of the individuals that are willing to be bold for the Lord on their podcast. And, it, and I'm very, very excited about this because I wish I had it. You know, I wish I had somebody say, hey, Tatum, here's the mental space that you need to be in so that you can, yes, as a good business person, be mindful of the numbers, but not be discouraged by them to where you start to change what God is calling you to do. So here's how you operate in that very fine line, right? Like, hey, Tatum, I know you're going through stuff uh, spiritually. I know you're dealing with a lot of attacks. Here's how you know how to push through versus when you need to pause. That's a, a, a level of discernment that is necessary when you have a platform for the Lord. Because so many people, I think when you don't understand that, you'll get to the point where you should have paused and now you're speaking out of turn. So now those souls that God trusted you with, now you're tainting them. Now you are doing the opposite of what you started out doing. So again, there are so many nuances to being a Christian podcaster that we have to discuss. And that's what this program is all about. And I'm so excited to officially launch it. But what I have coming up first that I want you to come to, whether you are a podcast or any Christian creator, we have a town hall that's coming up. And this is an opportunity for me and some friends and experts and also past clients to really talk to you about what it takes and encourage you um, to really talk to you and encourage you and to have some necessary discussions that we need to have and pour out some wisdom that we need as Christian creators. So the town hall is coming up on April 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can click the link in the show notes to register for that. The town hall is free. I will be introducing the program um, at the end of it so you can learn how you can be one of my mentees and one of the first cohorts of those that um, I am working with. And I'm just... I'm very excited. I don't know what God is going to do, but I know he's going to do his big one because that's who he is. Okay. <laughs> so that's the update for Anchor Media. We are ushering in a new era. And I hope I see you there. We got a lot to talk about. Come with your questions. And even in this video, if you have any questions about being a Christian creator and any of the things that I discussed, Put them in the show notes. The, when somebody has a town hall, it's usually a discussion between the audience and the individual. So I don't want this to just be us talking, but I want this to be very interactive. So put your questions in the uh, comments and then we'll pull from them throughout the town hall. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss when I post another video and I'll see you in the next one.